All right. Hey, good morning. Good evening. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of YouTube. It's Pastor Dow. <clears throat> um, I said, my brother been out early this morning, weed eating the land, trying to get the land ready for Passover. It's probably going to be, uh, let's give us some conservative numbers, between 350 to 420 people here this Passover. It's a lot of people. So we have to get the land ready. Uh, looks like the weather forecast is going to be nice for Passover. But anyway, this community experience is number four. Everybody can't live on the community. They can't. And the reason why they can't live on the community because they do not have the discipline. They do not have the submission. And the biggest thing is that when people come or they will think they would like to live on the community, they don't have one heart. You know, the Bible talks about having one heart, one soul, one mind, and one spirit. The reason why it works here straightway because everyone that lives here we're joined in that. Now, sometimes people relapse and then they have to be brought back into focus um, because here we don't tolerate um, foolishness. We don't tolerate selfishness. You know, all the selves, self me, <laughs> self perspective, all about me, all about my family. That's it. No, no, no. It's about the whole. Now, does your family benefit? Sure, you got plenty of things you do with your family, but the reason why communities fail is because people can't get behind the vision of the leader or either they can't take correction. We've got people that have moved, a whole bunch of families has literally moved around the community, and they're doing fine. As a matter of fact, they actually even come out and help us. We have um, another brother, Brother Delano, his family purchased some land and near in the future we're going to build a home on there and move some families on there and they'll have another little small community there in kentucky so now we have two communities in kentucky uh, besides the one a straightway texas that's being developed and in other words everything that the world says it can't be done is being done and we're doing it and we're going to continue to keep on doing it everybody that comes from the city all of them have a testimony. Their testimony is, wow, man, look at the lifestyle, so peaceful, so quiet. You get to live a quiet and peaceful life. You know what I mean? And then, um, it's amazing to me, you got all these people that's never even done what the book says, even tried to attempt to what the book says. Did y'all know that Jesus says, unless a man forsake all that he has, he can no wise enter into the kingdom of y'all? Y'all bet you ain't read that before in the Gospels, had you? Go on there and read and see how many times Jesus, Yahshua HaMashiach, Yahweh Shai, um, how many times he said himself, not only forsaken all, but he said everyone that hath forsaken. Now you got to ask yourself, what have you forsaken? See, that's what he said. And this is the type of gospel that nobody likes hearing. But communities can work, but it can't work if you are um, what you call the sole authority. No, that's a structure that is set up in every single place. Every single community has a head. Uh, they have some form of leadership. They're set up, and everybody does, does their role. Uh, we function, we do well, because we're all in one heart, one mind, one soul, one spirit. That's how communities can survive. Um, we've had hundreds of people come and go. And, but now, you know, we pretty much got it almost down pat. We're pretty selective. You know, after 20 years, we, we should be pretty selective. We, we, I think we pretty much got it down pat who we know that would be a good fit for the community. Just because you're not here don't mean we're rejecting you. We just know that at this time, you're not a good fit for the community. And besides all that, uh, we don't have the space right now. We're too busy in the process of developing uh, more places at home. But we are just about at our maximum capacity. And that's just the truth. Um, I hope you can get it. Truly do. I hope you can.